Thinking about moving to Myrtle Beach and looking for affordable new construction less than five miles to the beach? Come check out Oyster Bluff in Myrtle Beach, one of D.R. Horton's newest communities. Everybody and welcome. My name is Olivia Laskowski. I'm a local realtor here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina with Remax Southern Shores. On my channel here, I talk about real estate in Myrtle Beach. We tour different communities together and even check out some new listings. So if that is something that would be of interest to you, I do ask that you subscribe. That way you can always see the fresh new content from me. This week, we're going to check out Oyster Bluff in Myrtle Beach. This is a new construction community by Dierra Horton and it is natural gas. Upon completion, they will have around 300 homes and at the time of this video, they're roughly around two thirds of the way complete. The community offers seven different floor plans to choose from, ranging from just under 1,500 heated square feet all the way up to just over 2,500. Most of them have attached two car garages and there is one floor plan that is a lot smaller with a one car attached garage. Driving through the neighborhood, here is the back side of the neighborhood. This is going to be their last and final phase that they develop. And right now, while filming this video, they do have a handful of move-in ready homes to go if you're looking for something in the immediate future. Oyster Bluff is located here off of Big Block Road, which is situated between 707 and 544. You have easy access to Highway 31 to avoid the main roads if you'd like. There is also a main shopping center that is less than two miles away that has everything from restaurants and grocery stores to retail shopping and medical centers. Plus the airport in Market Common is only about 15 minute drive away. And then if you keep following 544 all the way in, you'll eventually make your way to the beach. And then if you just drive south, you can hit Surfside Beach. The pricing in here starts in the low 300000 and goes all the way up to the $370,000 range. They have a very low HOA fee of $55 per month and that does include your weekly trash pickup as well as common area maintenance. Oyster Bluff does have two furnished models that are on site, the Galen and also the Cali. We're going to take a quick tour of the Galen model. It is four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and right over 2,300 heated square feet. And it does have an attached two-car garage. Since it is the model, you won't see the garage doors, but it will be converted after they move out of the sales office there. So let's go check it out, y'all. Here we are outside the Galen model. They do have two different elevations. So this is elevation B. Nice little front porch though. You can always put two little rocking chairs and get that kind of Southern lifestyle. Immediately upon walking in, there is this flex space. It can either be used as a study as it is here in this model, or you can also use it as a more formal dining room. The first door there was the access to the garage, but it's currently the sales office. Nice deep storage there under the closet. And then we do have a generous size powder room for the downstairs. Then we flow over into the kitchen. They all come with stainless steel appliances. Obviously the refrigerator and washer and dryer are not included in new construction, but it is a natural gas community. So you have the natural gas cooktop. And there are also different finishes so based on whatever the builder chooses for the spec home will determine the cabinet color as well as granite flooring so there's a few different options there here we have a nice dining space just really kind of open concept to just all flow throughout and then a pretty generous size living room here definitely a lot of good wall space there and they do have an abundance of windows, especially down here, that just really kind of help let in all that natural light to brighten up the space. And of course, there's the sliding back door to the patio, which we'll step out on in a little bit. So really great area if you're kind of looking to entertain. Now we're going to head upstairs 
So downstairs there is going to be the LVP flooring throughout and then on the stairs and second floor we do have carpet throughout. There are going to be three guest bedrooms on the front side of the house here. This is going to be the first of the three. It's interesting on this one. They typically have those bifold style doors, but here is just the single door, which is a nice little feature. And then down the hallway here, we do have the second bedroom, which is currently being occupied as a mortgage office. And then here is going to be the second staged guest bedroom. And then they all share the guest bathroom here on the end of the hall. Nice double vanity. It's got the prefab tub, tile flooring. Just kind of matches the cabinets downstairs, but a little bit different countertop up here. And a nice little linen closet as well for some additional storage. It's a little peep inside that bedroom. And then what's nice is also the laundry room's upstairs. So you don't have to worry about lugging that all the way up and down. So great space for some hookups there and also a little shelf above. Nice extra linen closet here that you could use or if you want to use it as a utility closet for vacuums. On the back side here we do have the primary bedroom. It has a really generous size walk-in closet. You could even double up the shelving space just to help it fit even more if you really needed to. This is probably one of the larger of the D.R. Horton primary bedrooms that I've seen in a while. And then of course we have the primary bathroom. Similar style vanities to the other one. Nice double vanity. We've got the extra windows in there too for some natural light. A walk-in shower. More closet space if you want to divvy it up a little bit. And then some shelving and then also the toilet room in there. So really great space if you're all looking for living on one level this might be a really great floor plan. This home is right around the $360,000 price point here in Oyster Bluff. We're going to take a quick peek here off of the patio. Nice covered porch. You can always screen it in if you wanted to build on in the future you could always extend it as well. But nice just little hangout spot if you're wanting to enjoy some summer days down here. And then the lots here in Oyster Bluff vary between a wooded lot. There are some pond lots and some others do back up to other homes. Thanks for tuning in as we checked out that home. Oyster Bluff is going to be a great community with just quick, easy access to really anything or anywhere you need to go along the Grand Strand. Pretty affordable in the terms of new construction pricing. And they also offer special incentives for financing if you do use their preferred lender and attorney. Of course, these terms change all the time. So if that's something you're interested in, reach out. I'm always happy to take you over to the community and show you what's currently available. If this community is not quite the right fit that you're looking for, let me know. We can always explore different options together. If you have any questions or want to contact directly, um, there is a link in the bio to get in touch with me and schedule a call. I do hope that you found this video useful, and if you did, I would really appreciate if you would give it a like and a thumbs up. That would also mean the world to me. And just want to say thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you again next week in our next video. See ya!